Let me get this straight. I was emergency C-sectioned out of my mom because there was a complication at birth when the well ran dry and I didn't come out. I was put in the NICU. And there's a potential that when I was picked up by my real mom and dad, Victor and Blanche Bossy, that I'm there might have been a mistake and I wasn't even the right person from this woman. During parenting time, when I was one, my father, I was in my father's care. I fell out of my high chair, cracked my head open. Not much else has been known about what happened seeking medical attention. Knowing my father, I mean, he, they said they did seek medical attention, but still, that's all I know. I'd have to look at the medical records. Scarborough General, 87. <clears throat> so, after that, I was taken away by the doctors to figure out why I was having chronic insomnia, issue sleeping, and violent vomiting. It was post-concussion syndrome from the fucking thing. Here's the scar, right here. I can feel the crack in my fucking head. And it goes all the way around. And to this giant fucking divot where a brick fell on my head at one point. That's where it stops. And that's a fist print from Maddox's father, Mr. Dustin Woolley. Yeah, there ain't no restraining order. I don't gotta censor your shit. 50 year old fucking meth addict. Pedophile. Wait, my best friend got her fucking pregnant. Told you that she's gonna raise your fucking kid with me, so you fucking scrambled my brains. And then you raped Riley, and you got her pregnant, and when she confronted you, you fucking punched her in the stomach and killed her kid. You killed your own kid. You fucking dickhead. I'm not censoring this, you shit dick. Suffer. No soup for you. This is tobacco. I picked up off the ground. Polluted, angry, I have a headache. Go back. When I was given back, they released me into my dad's care, and he kidnapped me from Victor and Blanche Bossy, who took care of me primarily because my mom was working. She was a kindergarten teacher. And I'd go to school with her as a family. Victor and Blanche would take me. And the doctors gave me back to my father. And he fucking kidnapped me. For two years. It's not that I don't remember. I remember everything. It's just been more. And I'd wake up. And my mom would be gone, or always leaving. They'd terrorize her right out the fucking door. The yelling, the screaming, the abuse, the me locking myself in the room all the time. And being locked outside the house all the time. Both of them neglecting me. Both of them fucking blaming each other for the post-concussion syndrome. Him thinking it's her, her thinking it's him. Him kidnapping me thinking he's doing what's right. And then there was a forced phantom of the offer arranged marriage that in order to get me back, he wants the girl make my mom be with him in order to get me back 
because the Amber Alert system didn't exist until 96. If that was a different case, he likely would have been one of these cases where you see the police shoot at him and hit the fucking kid instead. That's why he's always talking about that. Always. Why well, he's trying to always defend it. Oh, it's not kidnapping. It's a parent. Yes, it is. Mr. Peterson. My father was Victor Bossy. France. Italian. Bosse. How would you say it? He's Italian. He married White Grace. Blanche Bosse. France. Bosse. Bosse. Sexy. Not King's English. You're bossy! It means cow. That's why I like little cows. Milk of life. My grandma taught me a lot of um, French. She was French. Taught me how to read French labels. Pronounce things properly. Victor Bossy. Italian. Niche. That's not French. Italian bossy. The victory bowl. Victor bowl. The victory bowl. <laughs> my, my, my bowl gives me wings. Victor bowl gives me wings. He married the white dove. Grace. Blanche Grace. I added Dove in there. He's a white buffalo. He's literally the spirit of the white victory buffalo. And he flew. Blue uniform. Blue Jay. In the Royal Canadian Air Force. That's why I always loved it. And the hats. He always wore the hats. It was Super Mario hats. So I was his little Ouija. I grew up, I wanted to be just like him. And right down out we dressed. Spiffy motherfucker. Pro athlete, Olympic swimmer. That's why I was trained up to lifeguard training. He taught me how to fucking swim. All that and our neighbor. Luke and Ashley's mom, Maureen Morrison. God, I loved Ashley. You tell? My middle name was supposed to be Celtic Ashley. Tristan Ashley P Peters Peterson. Peterman now. Peter Parkerman, technically. Splotter Irish, Holland Dutch. German. Yeah, little Napole little French Napoleon fucking Hitler here screaming at Trudeau born on Christmas Day. Santa Claus Schwab's fucking next in line. Who, uh, you know, was Hitler's lieutenant and Freelance's granddaughter. That's fun. This is all for my comic series. It's just a story in my fucking head. It just all happens to be true. It's my life, because I'm trying to remember what the fuck happened to me. Go back, you're building a legacy. So yeah, that's why my parents were always groveling with each other. He fucking did what he's doing to her. Kidnapped her. Forcing her to be here. He pays for all the bills. He pays for all the this, that, and the other. And if she goes back and says, no, you're a traumatizing, scary motherfucker. What's she gonna... She, she doesn't have the money to fucking go back to the Philippines. He's... Goddamn fucking gorilla -ter. He's evil. He's hurt like fuck. I can't be mad at him because I see it, dude. I see how fucked up you are, and I know exactly why, how badly you were abused. Because you at least never did that to me. 
different. Wow, the fist prints on the wall make an S. My target wall. Place is full of fucking fist holes. This whole section was my kicking area. That's why it's ripped out. Now it's the family altar and the family plan. We made this all together. Jigsaw puzzle. Glued onto cardboard. That's why I went fucking dickhead over there. Is telling me he's gonna throw on all my shit and have me arrested. Try to say I'm stealing it. Well, that's a kick the shit out of him. I politely picked up everything I could carry. He broke my fucking self to get here. Twelve hours or less. My arm still hurts, so I couldn't walk for three days. It's okay. I brought all. I got everything. Everything's safe. I got all your stuff too, Ash. Your Reiki certificates, your IIM diplomas, it's all here. It's all safe. I have the kids' clothes. It's Dude, now it looks like a little pop-up book. They fucking clipped my son. He paid $80 for these pictures. You think I was going to let him keep that? They fucking popped my kid one in front of 2,000 people in Niagara Falls. No one does like to hear Niagara Falls stop making noise. It is the scariest sound I have ever not heard. <laughs> and I just... Yeah, I want someone to have him fucking arrested. He does uh, honestly, he doesn't he's not worthy of that house. Not worthy of the ten acres of land. I'm gonna retire on it. He doesn't retire because he keeps getting leveraged by her to send money back to the Philippines to support her fucking son, who's twenty five. So he's being held hostage. And he's a fucking idiot. Send them back. <laughs> get a refund. <laughs> it's not a seventh failed marriage if you get an exchange for something worthy. <laughs> get an exchange. There's the cannabis kit back in. CO2 cobalt blue. <clears throat> Jason. Corvus, the Great Fox, from Oblivion, Elder Schools, three, four, whatever it was. Tristan. I can't make a J.C. Denton, but I can make a J.C. Tristan. You're all looking for a Neo-Marxist, Neo-Matrix. Tron stuck in the machine, Zordon. Assembling a fucking team of musketeers here. Pass was peaceful. The whole goddamn League and Alliance, the size of the Assassin's Guild, they'll span the fucking globe. Looking for the next nexus of nerdy ninjas. I'm building Crownland. We're gonna make our own fucking history here. I'm legally obligated to do it. I don't have a choice. I'm homeless in the middle of fucking winter. Everybody wants to know what I'm doing, where I'm going. I have to have a plan. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? This is it. You did this to me, so I'm entitled to all of it for free. Still right. It's not a crime. I love you. It's my only picture I have of you. I did it because I was going to do a sketch. A gift. I think I don't have time to do that. That's on the bucket list. I'm gonna go build you Eden. You can use it as a retreat center, as will I. It's our homestead that we've been talking about for 60 years. As far as I'm concerned, I can walk 20 minutes up the street, step into a forest that's right where I keep going to meditate, and pick, hey, I'm gonna choose here. Fuck you. I could even claim homage to that field there. Right now, everywhere I got the grove, where I go to meditate. Antiangetic Emerald Grove Research Facility. It's a little piece of crowd land, it's a little fucking ditch next to the train tracks. 
You guys see me there all the time. That's where I walk Luna. There's a little foresty spot down there. Kids go to get high. I don't know what's on the other side of the river. Cold when the bugs aren't around. And when the bugs are there, it's fucking brutal. That's why I made these suits. That's exactly why I made these suits. They're bug resistant. Thermal proof. Fall resistant. The hoods act as a helmet if you fall off the damn roof, Santa Claus. I've been planning this for a long time, Ashley, and you just happen to step right into the middle of making it perfect. Happy anniversary. Cupid's archers. <laughs> Building Robin Hood here. Sherwood Forest. Ravenwood Forest. Hood. Raven Hood. And the Raven Hood. Rave. Finn, and it's representative of the first kid I helped raise too, was Rose in my arm, the sanguine Rose, and then Anastasia's the Scarlet Rose, Finn, Anti-Venom, Cambo, Smiles, Morales, Cambo, Anti-Venom, Venom, Smiles, Morales, Anastasia, Scarlet, Parkerson, Scarlet Rose. Pink Flower Prowler Power. And as we scour for seeds to grow Eden. Edible Permaculture Hip Camp registered, licensed as a wolfing station. Taxable as a business, and for whatever reason or whatever it means to, I'm an ordained reverend since 2007. I've raised double of seven kids, too. I've raised seven kids. A potential half eighth one out of there, too. I don't know about that. Maybe not. I raised double of seven kids. Reverend, ordained reverend. Tristan Scottman. Peter Parkerman. People have trouble saying Tristan back, so I'm fine with Jason, the flying blue jay of the Greystones. My parents put me into, you guessed it, gymnastics. Trapeze. I never wanted to be Batman, I wanted to be Robin. why Anastasia's favorite hero is Robin. That's why Finn's favorite friend is Tails the Fox. And underneath both of your shirts is what used to be a phoenix that ash trailed wrapped around my heart and I retriveled it into a fox. Anastasia's mom's phoenix. Literally, her name is Baron of the Phoenix. Anastasia was born in the phoenix. I'm not making any of this up. Hmm. I suppose I have. I suppose I have made it up in my subconscious and I have decided that this is the story that I've been telling myself for 40 years. And like any narcissistic, not that I'm narcissistic, but they make that compilation or combination connection a lot. That they just fill roles of actor. I was kidnapped. I have to be to some extent. I was kidnapped from my fucking father, Victor Bossy. When I was three years old, by my father, biologically speaking, because I was taken at birth after the emergency C-section, and I was not allowed to see my parents because of the complications and the surgeries. I went home with them. I imprinted on them. Like Batman, I lost my parents. Like Flash, I lost my mom. As he drove her to a state of fucking schizophrenic. 
when I was 12. When I was younger. Had to be younger. Is there something to it? She got sick when I got back. They got, she got sick when she was forced to be back with them in order to be a family. That's why you want to go see other people out and give these just a flying fuck. I'm never ever doing to you what he did to me. Or my mom or is doing a fucking Mulan over there. I have a right to be angry. However, people don't seem to understand that I do see a much bigger picture than you all think. Red like a This concludes today's episode of That Was the Tobacco, and I'll be back. I love you. I love you. I love you. Blue Jay. Blue Jay son. Corvus Tritson. JC Denton. John Connor, motherfuckers. He raised me to be John Connor because he, uh, he interestingly enough, raised me to know that the world is coming to a prophetical end. I always talk about the weapons because I figured I'd be the one arming the goddamn uprising of militia. Only now, instead of a 18 fucking billion swords, gun knives, and everything else that he's got stockpiled over there, the fucking lunatic. Now I just got a bunch of broomsticks and we train like Jedis. I am here to fucking help you. And if you're sick and you're dying of fucking terminally ill, okay, I don't care. If you qualify for this, if you qualify for shroom insurance, and if I can figure out how to get the legal registry stuff through the IIN Nutrition College adequate, so uh, through tax purposes I can take insurance, I will help you for fucking free. Come to my Reiki Restoration Station. For integration, the Foxborough. FBI. Fox Location Burl Integration.